As I can. You're safe as a honeypot, you always will be, and I'll be right there when we land. You're snuggly, woggly, as snug as a buggly. <laughs> You're snuggly safe in my hands. Oh, hello, I'm Pooh, which is short for Winnie the Pooh, which isn't short. I don't think I've seen this tree house before, and since everyone I know already has a house, why, this one must be yours. Hmm, new resident? <laughs> why wasn't I notified? Well, gotta get a mailbox in pronto, by dingy. Won't be official till you got a mailbox. Of course, uh, nothing would get done around here if I didn't do everything myself. So, don't you worry. Whenever you need anything moved from anywhere to any here, I'll be on the job. Yes, sirree. Hmm. This mailbox is missing some... Uh, something. Why, of course, it needs your name. Might you put it there? You can click on the proper letters to spell out your name on the mailbox. And when you've spelled out your whole name, just grab hold of that green balloon. Then we'll be off to explore the Hundred Acre Wood. L-I-N-G If you wish, I'll be very happy to show you around the Hundred Acre Wood. Perhaps we shall find some things to make your tree home. Homia. <laughs> Wherever our wanda takes us, we shall have this special red honeypot. Anytime you would like to know a bit more about what to do, just grab a hold of this special pot. Then I shall tell you all the wonderful things we can do. There are several paths we may take, each as good as the next. None better than the other, since any way one goes with a friend is a good way. Just choose a path, and off we'll go. Now we shall head in a rather eastish direction. Presenting my friend spanking new Tiggerific invention! Tiggers, jack in the boxies But not just any old jack in the boxies <laughs> Each one sounds like a different letter. Only, I forgot to figure which letter matches what sound. Say, if you help me, we can be co-inventing partners. Why don't you crank the handle on these boxes to hear what sound it makes, then show me what letter goes with it. I've got lots of these jack in the boxes to label. Four sets by my calculations. So, let's use those marks in the dirt to keep track of how many we got to do. W. W. Watermelon. R. 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 Rain. 
rainbow. Ta 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 ta. T t tomato. At the path of Lutley. S S S Z Z Z Z H. Huh. Horsey. Fantabuloso. K. K. Kettle. Na 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 N N Numbers Ba 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 boo B B Butterflies Mama, 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 mama. M, mm, monkey. Fa, 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 F, f, feathers. V, 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 v. The vegetables. <gasps> it was impossible, but you did it any. <laughs> Look out below! Here she comes. You're gonna go cuckoo over the clock <laughs> when you see it back in your treehouse. To play this game again, click the pink balloon. To play this game at the next level, click the orange balloon. To go back to the woods and find something else to do, click the light blue balloon. Why don't you crank the handle on these boxes to hear what sound it makes, then show me what letter goes with it. J J jump rope W woodpecker H. Ha! 
Mercy! <laughs> Super Superbifo! L! La 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 la! L lollipop F F fish Z, 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 C K K ba 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 J giraffe and n numbers that's the one Q qua question mark D D Ducky why you just did the undo a bibble. Look out below, here she comes. A jack in the box is worth two in the bush. <laughs> I'll haul it back to your treehouse. To play this game again, click the pink balloon. To play this game at the next level, click the orange balloon. Why don't you crank the handle on these? Oh, I have a little secret. Some of my jack-in-the-boxies make funny blendy sounds. <laughs> That's when two different letters get together to make one big sound. Like the letter CH make a CH sound. Sha 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 H sh shoo <laughs> H huh horsey cra 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 C R cr crab Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z
W w watermelon spectacular Skunk X X X X X X X X X X X marks the spot. T T tomato Acrobat Q qua question mark Cha 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 CH ch cherries Perfecto. Elephant. Tr 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 I thank you, thank you, and re-thank you. Look out below, here she comes! Well, I'd be off my rocker to patch this up. Let me get it back to your treehouse. To play this game again, click the pink balloon. To go back to the woods and find something else to do, click the light blue balloon.
Back to the loo hoo hoo to you! By going neither south nor north, and not in the least bit east, we shall go west. It's a beautiful day for us to play, but my other friends aren't around. I have an idea. Let's pretend with these friends many the sand I found. You can give them a ball or a drum to beat. There's so many things we can do. It's so much fun to make believe. So let's pretend me and you. As you see, Rose come to the sandy pit to play with his friends, but his friends are too busy. Which is why Tigger made him some friends from sand. Perhaps you and Rue together might pretend up some wonderful fun. If first you'll pick a friend to play with, then something from the sand, you and Rue can pretend the rest. <laughs> I've played Let's Pretend with Rue before. Little Rue always pretends at least five times in a row. Let's keep track of how many times we pretend with these red flowers. Eeyore saw us. Piglet paints. Tigger hammers. Eeyore hammers. Tigger saws. When it came to pretending, you and Rue sure knew what to do. <laughs> of course, your treehouse has to have a boomerang. If you can't remember how to use it, don't worry. <laughs> It'll come back to you. To play this game again, click the pink balloon. To play this game at the next level, click the orange balloon. To go back to the woods and find something else to do, click the light blue balloon. If you pick a friend, then some sort of something for them to do, then you and Rue can start pretending. Eeyore plays with a round paddle. Piglet plays with a square paddle. Tigger plays with a purple hoop. Eeyore plays with a yellow hoop. Purple hoop. Piglet plays with a purple hoop. You're a good friend to help Rue pretend. Well, what a blockhead I'd be if I didn't get these back to your tree house. To play this game again, click the pink balloon. To play this game at the next level, click the orange balloon. To go back to the woods and find something else to do, click the light blue balloon. If you'll pick a friend, then something from the sand, I'm sure you and Rue can imagine up some grand fun. Eeyore plays with... A blue and white striped basketball. Piglet plays with two purple hoops. Tigger 
plays with an orange and black spotted basketball. Eeyore plays with a yellow hoop. Tigger plays with two purple hoops. When it came to pretending, you and Rue sure knew what to do. <laughs> Bet if I pulled some strings, I could get this puppet back to your treehouse for you. To play this game again, click the pink balloon. To go back to the woods and find something else to do, click the light blue balloon. Goodbye, Roo. We've had fun pretending with you. Puppet. And now we shall head due north by Northwoodley. Another blustery day in the hundred acre wood. I started to read, it didn't work out like it should. My book has been tattered, the pages all are scattered. Please help me put them back together if you could. Please help me put them back together if you could. If you find the picture to go with the word, Maybe we can piece the page back together. Won't know till we try. Got 26 pages to fix. Those little bookworms ought to keep count of how many you fix. Assuming they can count. Spoon. Leaf. Super, superb. Jar. Yardstick. Precisely. Door. Owl. So it is. <laughs> Unicorn. Kanga. <laughs> Wondrous. Necklace. Trumpet. Well done indeed. E 
Senhor. Please to meet you. Rabbit. Just as it should be. Xylophone. Alligator. How grand! Zipper. Goat. Splendishly done. B. Watermelon. Why, that's it! Vase. Mushroom. Quite right. Fork. Ice cream. Precisely the one. Quail. Horse. Super, superb. Carrot. Peach. Absolutely. Thanks. You'd never know it was broken. All right, let's get this baby out of here. This is a big job. So when I heave, everybody, ho, oh, count of three. One, two, three! To play this game again, click the pink balloon to play this. Another blustery day in the hundred acre wood. I started to read, it didn't work out like it should. My book has been tattered, the pages all are scattered. Please help me put them back together if you could. Please help me put them back together if you could. If you find the picture to go with the sentence, maybe we can fix the page. Might work, might not. The chipmunk cries. The grasshopper hops. 
How very smart of you. The bug sits. Eats. <laughs> Wondrous. Poo hikes. Poo laughs. Well done. The spider winks. Pooh sails. Precisely the one. Pooh sleds. Naps. Grand going. Poo paints. The bird sing. Why, that's it. Thanks. Awful grateful. Alrighty, let's get this thingy to the treehouse. Everybody hook your cable to the whatchamacallit. Look lively. Lift with your legs. Ready? Set? Go! Oh, oh my aching back. To play this game again, click the pink balloon. To play this game at the next level, click the orange balloon. To go back to the woods and f Another blustery day in the hundred acre wood. I started to read, it didn't work out like it should. My book has been tattered, the pages all are scattered. Please help me put them back together if you could. Please help me put them back together if you could. If you find the picture to go with the sentence, maybe we can patch the page. Worth a try. Piglet is sitting in the nest. The starfish hugs the rock. Super, superb. The fish swims in the bowl. The octopus juggles eight apples. Wondrous. The worms swing on the branch. Piglet holds a carrot. Super, superb. The ant eats the corn on the cob.
Piglet picks the flowers. Precisely. Pooh goes fishing. Who learns his ABCs? Oh my! The birds sing a song. The robin flies into her nest. I think you're right. Now it's perfect. Till the next wind blows. Yes, sirree! We'll get this back to the treehouse. Get your widget on that beam and string that rope under that whatchamacallit. All right, get yourselves in gear. You got a six-inch clearance on your... Starboard. Careful now. Easy. And here we go. Mm. I think I trained a quadra step. To play this game again, click the pink balloon. To go back to the woods and find something else to do, click the light blue balloon. Come back any day, especially a windy day. Tigger told me he left a very special surprise for you inside your treehouse. Why don't we go inside and find out what it is? Puppet. If you're going in... Might I come too, in case any stray honey's been left laying about? Tigger's surprise is right up there. Why don't we open it and see what's inside? Where am I going? I don't quite know. Down to the stream where the king cups grow. Up on the hill where the pine trees blow. Anywhere, anywhere, I don't know. Where am I going? The clouds sail by, little ones, baby ones, over the sky. Where am I going? The shadows pass, little ones, baby ones, over the grass. If you were a cloud and sailed up there, you'd sail on water as blue as air. And you'd see me here in the fields and say, doesn't the sky look green today? Where am I going, the high rooks call. It's awful fun to be born at all. Where am I going, the ring doves coo. We do have beautiful things to do. If you were a bird and lived on high, you'd lean on the wind when the wind came by. You'd say to the wind when it took you away, that's where I wanted to go today. Where am I going? I don't quite know. What does it matter where people go? Down to the wood where the bluebells grow. Anywhere, anywhere, I don't know. A lion has a tail, and a very fine tail. And so has an elephant, and so has a whale. And so has a crocodile, and so has a quail. They've all got tails but me. If I had sixpence... I would buy one. I'd say to the shopman, let me try one. I'd say to the elephant, this is my one. They'd all come round to see. Then I'd say to the lion, why, you've got a tail, and so has the elephant, and so has the whale. And look, there's a crocodile, he's got a tail. You've all got tails, like me. No one can tell me, nobody knows, where the wind comes from, where the wind goes. It's flying from somewhere, 
as fast as it can. I couldn't keep up with it, not if I ran. But if I stopped holding the string of my kite, it would blow with the wind for a day and a night. And then, when I found it, wherever it blew, I should know that the wind had been going there too. So then I could tell them where the wind goes, but where the wind comes from, nobody knows. There are lions and roaring tigers and enormous camels and things. There are buffalo, buffalo bisons and a great big bear with wings. There's a sort of a tiny potamus and a tiny noceros too. But I gave buns to the elephant when I went down to the zoo. There are badgers and bidgers and bodgers and a superintendent's house. There are masses of goats and a polar and different kinds of mouse. And I think there's a sort of something which is called a wallaboo. But I gave buns to the elephant when I went down to the zoo. If you try to talk to the bison, he never quite understands. You can't shake hands with a mingo. He doesn't like shaking hands. And lions and roaring tigers hate saying, How do you do? But I give buns to the elephant when I go down to the zoo. I often wish I were a king, and then I could do anything. If only I were king of Spain, I'd take my hat off in the rain. If only I were king of France, I wouldn't brush my hair for aunts. I think if I were king of Greece, I'd push things off the mantelpiece. If I were king of Norway, I'd ask an elephant to stay. If I were king of Babylon, I'd leave my button gloves undone. If I were king of Timbuktu, I'd think of lovely things to do. If I were king of anything, I'd tell the soldiers, I'm the king. James James Morrison Morrison Weatherby George Dupree took great care of his mother, though he was only three. James James said to his mother, Mother, he said, said he, you must never go down to the end of the town if you don't go down with me. James James Morrison's mother put on a golden gown. James James Morrison's mother drove to the end of the town. James James Morrison's mother said to herself, said she, I can get right down to the end of the town and be back in time for tea. King John put up a notice. Lost or stolen or strayed. James James Morrison's mother seems to have been mislaid. Last seen wandering vaguely, quite of her own accord. She tried to get down to the end of the town. Forty shillings reward. James James Morrison Morrison, commonly known as Jim, told his other relations not to go blaming him. James James said to his mother, Mother, he said, said he, you must never go down to the end of the town without consulting me. James James Morrison's mother hasn't been heard of since. King John said he was sorry, so did the Queen and Prince. King John, somebody told me, said to a man he knew, If people go down to the end of the town, well, what can anyone do? J. J. M. M. W. G. D. P. took great seal his M, though he was only three. J. J. said to his M, M, he said, said he, You must never go down to the end of the town if you don't go down with me. Jack in the box. What time is it? What time is it? Don't know what time it is. Do you? Do you? Do you? Cuckoo clock. 
What time is it? What time is it? <laughs> Halfway down the stairs is a stair where I sit. There isn't any other stair quite like it. I'm not at the bottom. I'm not at the top. So this is the stair where I always stop. Halfway up the stairs isn't up and isn't down. It isn't in the nursery. It isn't in the town. And all sorts of funny thoughts run round my head. It isn't really anywhere. It's somewhere else instead. Ernest was an elephant, a great big fellow. Leonard was a lion with a six-foot tail. George was a goat, and his beard was yellow. And James was a very small snail. Leonard had a stall, and a great big strong one. Ernest had a manger, and its walls were thick. George found a pen, but I think it was the wrong one, and James sat down on a brick. Ernest started trumpeting and cracked his manger. Leonard started roaring and shivered his stall. James gave the huffle of a snail in danger, and nobody heard him at all. Ernest started trumpeting and raised such a rumpus. Leonard started roaring and trying to kick. James went a journey with the goat's new compass, and he reached the end of his brick. Ernest was an elephant and very well intentioned. Leonard was a lion with a brave new tail. George was a goat, as I think I have mentioned, but James was only a snail. These are my two drops of rain, waiting on the window pane. I am waiting here to see which the winning one will be. Both of them have different names. One is John and one is James. All the best and all the worst comes from which of them is first. James has just begun to ooze. He's the one I want to lose. John is waiting to begin. He's the one I want to win. James is going slowly on. Something sort of sticks to John. John is moving off at last. James is going pretty fast. John is rushing down the pane. James is going slow again. James has met a sort of smear. John is getting very near. Is he going fast enough? James has found a piece of fluff. John has hurried quickly by. James was talking to a fly. John is there, and John is one. Look, I told you, here's the sun. Rocking chair. Rocking chair. Rocking chair. Rocking chair. Rocking chair. Rocking chair. Forget the rift. You're the best of the best. You finished a bunch of games. So now you get to make your very own doorbell for your very own treehouse. Woohoo! Pick out a sound for your doorbell and put it in the first spot. Then put another one in the next spot and another in the next until you're all done. Then clickify that green baloney. Woohoo! Go on down to these little arrows to see all your doorbell sounds.
Just click on your contraption whenever you'd like to change the sounds it makes. If you wish to hear our song again, click on the green balloon. Here we go floating, anywhere we please, holding you tight as I can. You're safe as a honeypot, you always will be, and I'll be right there when we land. You're snuggly, woggly. A snug as a buggly. <laughs> You're snuggly safe in my hands. If you wish to hear our song again, here we go floating anywhere we please, holding you tight as I can. You're safe as a honeypot, you always will be, and I'll be right there when we land. You're snuggly, woggly, as snug as a buggly. <laughs> You're snuggly safe in my hands. This I'm certainly sad to say, means you'll be leaving our hundred acre wood for a while. If you really must go, click on the green balloon. Are you most certainly certain you must go? If you are, then pick the yellow balloon. But if you'd like to explore just a little bit more, choose the purple balloon. I shall simply say a simple good day, for when you're of a mind to play again, the Hundred Acre Wood will always be here, and will always be waiting just for you.